it's time for a Bee Kids game. Good morning Bee Kids and welcome to another episode of Online Church. We are so thrilled that you've come to worship with us this morning and before we go and learn from our friend Sam today, let's worship Jesus together.
love that song. I hope you had a great time praising Jesus this morning. Now it's time to get comfortable and get our listening ears on. Let's go over to Sam and see what we're going to learn about hope today. Good morning, Bee Kids. Have you ever wanted something so much and had to wait a long, long time for it? Maybe it was a toy or a computer game, or maybe even a sickness that you've had for a long time and you just wanted to be well. Well, let's go and hear a story about a man who had to wait a long time. It's Jesus Heals the Lame Man. Afterwards, Jesus returned to Jerusalem for one of the Jewish holidays. Inside the city, near the Sheep Gate, was a pool, Pool of Bethesda, with five covered porches. Crowds of sick people, blind, lame and paralysed, lay on the porches. One of the men lying there had been sick for 38 years. When Jesus saw him, he knew he had been ill for a long time and asked him, would you like to get well? I can't, sir, the sick man said, for I have no one to put me into the pool when the water bubbles up. Someone else always gets there before me. Jesus told him, stand up, pick up your mat and walk. Instantly, the man was healed. He rolled up his mat and began walking. But this miracle happened on the Sabbath. So the Jewish leaders objected. They said to the man who was cured, You can't work on the Sabbath. The law doesn't allow you to carry your sleeping mat. But he replied, The man who healed me told me, Pick up your mat and walk. Who said such a thing as that? They demanded. The man didn't know. For Jesus had disappeared into the crowd. But afterwards Jesus found him in the temple and told him, Now, now you are well, so stop sinning, or something worse may happen to you. Then the man went and told the Jewish leaders that it was Jesus who had healed him. Wow, what a transformation. Jesus not only wanted to heal the man's heart, he wanted to heal his body too. Jesus sees our needs and wants to help us. Even though at times in life, we don't know why we have to go through things, like the man who'd been waiting 38 years, paralyzed, unable to move. He would have been pretty sad without friends and felt quite hopeless, I can imagine, because he couldn't get to the pool and he just wanted to be well. But he had hope. So you can see that Christian hope is not wishing. Hope is a very long, and, and it's not always going to be happening right away. But the best part is that Jesus loves us and wants us to be his friend. So I ask you, would you let Jesus into your life today? And let him heal your heart? I'll leave that with you, my friends. Bye. Oh, wow, Sam, that was great. Kids, I hope you've really taken in everything that Sam and God had to say and share with us this morning. So let's go over now and see what you've been up to this week.
It looks like you guys have had an amazing time in the snow this week. I'm so glad that you got to build all those lovely snowmen and have so much fun. Thanks for sending me all your pictures. Um, it's always great to see what you've been up to. Now, we are coming to the end of Be Kids Online, but before we go, let's pray. Heavenly Father, I give thanks for your continued love and peace that you give the families at Brook Lane Church and the families in Downham. I give thanks for your gift of love and I give thanks for your gift of faithfulness and the fact that you are with us every step we take. I ask that you continue to bless us with the gift of patience so we know that as long as we wait on you, we will be fine. I give thanks for the healing that you give these families and these children for the times that we need it, when we're finding things hard and we're struggling at the moment and we know that as long as we turn to you, we'll always be okay. I ask that you continue to keep us all exactly where you want us to be keep us on the path that you have mapped out for us and continue to love us and continue to show us that we can do anything as long as we have you by our sides in jesus name amen amazing well we've come to the end of be kids now so i will see you tomorrow at 8 a.m for our dance parties if you're going to be there or at 4.30 p.m. if you're going to be there for the afternoon one. And don't forget, now that it's half term, we've got two events coming up. Pancake and Praise, which is on Tuesday, which is for our whole families to come together and enjoy Pancake Day. And on Friday, we're going to have a movie night. So if you check out um, your Church Suite app or mum and dad's email, they can let you know when you need to log on to come to our movie night and what our movie is. All right, and if I won't see you at all that fun, I will see you back here on Sunday at 11.30 a.m. for another Be Kids Online. Goodbye, my friends.